Let me ask you a question. Come January, who do you think will be the president? Well, I'm going to tell you something that you might think is a little offensive, but just bear with me here. Because it doesn't really matter what you think about who the president will be. What matters is which president won the election. Now, right now, we have two men who say, I won the election. And the media is definitely on one side and people are on another side and, and there's arguing and going back and forth. And what we need is a judgment. We need to know which man was legally chosen by the American people. You see, one side says, you guys were cheating. You let dead people vote. You had voter fraud. So even though you have more elections, it's not legitimate. Another side is saying, look, I won. I have more votes than you. Your, your claims of fraud are not legitimate. And the American people are caught in the middle. And what we need is a judgment. You see, many times when we think about judgment, we think about um, me not living up to my own standards and God looks down at me in his perfection and he says, Grant, you're not good enough. I judge you. And then I, I, I can't go to heaven or I can't have the blessings of being with him or, or my life down here on earth somehow isn't as good as it should be. And we shy away from the judgment. Can you, can you hold off the judgment, Lord? Let me try to get more of my ducks in a row and be a little better before the judgment. Well, Revelation 14 says, fear God and give him glory for the hour of his judgment has come. And it means the judgment is now. And if we think about the election, we want the judgment. We want to know, okay, which man legitimately won the election? Every good-hearted American who loves democracy, who wants America to be a country of liberty and freedom where our votes matter, wants to know who really won the election. You see, we don't want to just trust what the media tells us or what we read on Twitter. We want to know the truth. And that's what the judgment is. The judgment is a revelation of truth. And that's why we don't have to be afraid of our own judgment. You see, many times we get caught up in looking at the good and bad things that we've done. And we say, okay, if I've done enough good things, that means I'm good. Or if I did a bad thing, it means I'm bad. But that's not a true revelation of our character. You see, our character is our desires, either to be close to God or to be far from God. And on that journey, we're gonna fall and we're gonna make mistakes and say stupid things and do dumb things and hurt ourselves and hurt other people. But the judgment peels back through all of the, the clothes that we cover ourselves with, trying to show how good we are, the face that we put up on our pictures and, and the face that we have at church when we say, oh, everything's amazing, I'm doing good. How's your life? Oh, I'm so blessed peels back through all those layers but it also peels back through the layers of what we do maybe you have addictions you're, you're just trying to kick and you haven't got rid of them or maybe you and your spouse had a really bad argument and you said things you're ashamed of see the judgment peels through that as well and it goes straight to your heart John three sixteen says for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life it doesn't say whoever is good enough for him it doesn't say whoever goes to church enough or pays enough money to to support charities or who never sins it says whoever believes and so today instead of focusing on your outward behavior oh i didn't cuss or oh no i did cuss Instead of focusing on that, focus on your heart. Focus on building your belief in God. And this election is a great opportunity because people on both sides are afraid of losing. People on both sides are like, oh my goodness, if the other guy wins, we're in so much trouble. This is an opportunity, whether you're blue or red, 
whether you're Republican or Democrat, to say, you know what, God? I believe that all things work together for good for those who love you. I believe I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe that I'm more than a conqueror. I believe in you, and I know I'll have eternal life. And when that's our message, and you hear the phrase, the hour of his judgment is here, <clears throat> it brings peace. Just like in a couple of weeks or days or months, we'll know who legitimately won the election. Just like one day, Jesus will come back and we'll know that we've been judged as worthy to be with him. Not because we have a perfect track record. Jesus has the perfect track record. But we'll be worthy of him because we want to be with him. You see, the judgment is us judging God. John 3, 16 tells us about the gift God gave us. And then we either accept that gift or reject that gift. And then God accepts our decision. So the judgment isn't being good enough. The judgment is looking at God and saying, you're enough. The judgment is when deep in your heart, you can truly say, God's got this. So friend, no matter what happens with the election, whether you're excited or disappointed, no matter what happens after the election has been called, whether there's riots or cheering in the streets, whatever it is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in everything you say and think and do, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. God bless.